Have you been struggling with your local AI or Olama instance and not being able to get it to search on the internet? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix that and I'm going to step you through the entire process and it's really easy. You'll probably have it up and going within a couple minutes. So if you're like me, you were using DuckDuckGo inside of OpenWebUI because it was free and you didn't have to use an API, but that no longer works. So I've been looking for a method around that, and we're going to be using the one that comes installed with it called Searching. I think that's how you pronounce it, and it requires a few downloads, but I already have all that downloaded for you and pre-configured, so you can just go in and start running it. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. First off, inside of the description down below, you're going to have a link to something called searching dash setup. Go ahead, go to that link and then download the zip file that is there. Once you have it downloaded, we're going to extract the entire file, cut the file, and we're going to paste it into the home directory. And that's pretty much it. After that, all we have to do is just run the container. So let's go ahead, open up terminal, and I'm going to paste in the command that I have here. It's basically CD run and then Docker up. And now you should have everything up and running on your open web UI. You just have to link it to it. So let's go ahead, open up open web UI. We are going to go to the login at the bottom, admin panel, and then settings and web search now you can use this link here which i'm going to be testing it out and showing you and these settings and as long as you have web search turned on it should work now the easiest way that i found to test this out is just to look for something that's new and modern that wasn't around before or in this case i'm going to search up the new apple vision pro and we are going to see if it finds anything Okay, so in this instance, no, it didn't. It was looking up the older stuff. So we're going to go back into settings and web search, and we are going to change this hoster Docker internal to our actual IP address. Now, on one of my AIs, the host Docker container, whatever, that worked perfectly fine. On this one, for whatever reason, I have to use the IP address. I don't get it, but I mean, if, if it works. So we're just gonna go right back in here after we change the IP address, resend the exact same thing, and there you have it. It now has sources and it's talking about the new Vision Pro and even has links to it. So yeah, let's check out one of these links. It says it was from five days ago. Let's check the URL and make sure. And sure enough, it's a real URL and the date matches. And that is how you set up Open Web UI. Now, if this is something that you're interested in and you'd like to learn how to build an LLM or local AI, I do have a video for that. If you'd like to set up your own AI, watch this video right here. 